Hey guys, this is James from Squid Gaming bringing you another Portal 2 authoring tools tutorial. Uh, this one was suggested by Big Lippy on the channel comments page and it was how to do fire in the uh, authoring tools for portals. So this is how you do fire. Grab the entity tool, uh, double click in the class, type in fire and select the env underscore fire and hit apply. Then go to the flags tab and select start on start full and the other options there are you know they're fairly self-explanatory but the main one is I'll do infinite duration which means obviously it'll it'll never go out on its own and in portal I think it's impossible to put it out any other way anyway so uh, yeah that's you don't have to do that you could make it be triggered on later in a level or just start and turn off after a certain amount of time which is what this duration here is for. If you've got it on infinite, just type negative one into that. Uh, start disabled, you want as no. Size, I'm gonna set to 300. And damage to 100. And the type, keep it natural. I tried plasma and you basically you can't see it. And, which is pretty pointless. It still does the damage and everything, but you can't see it. So, that, yeah, it's pretty useless, and I don't think it will be ever used in Portal anyway. Uh, ignition point, once again, not really used in Portal, but that's to make like a chain reaction of uh, flames. The help basically tells you that there, and the damage scale, just leave that as long as the attack is 100. So, exit that and so now you've got our fire we'll uh, run and compile a map and see how it looks okay so back in our map let's just head over to here and there we have it look at that that is a nice nice looking uh, flame just like if you were ever going to make put their flames in one don't overdo them but two if you're making a level where they would be appropriate definitely don't leave them out because they can add a lot of depth in the visuals to a map and it can just make a map very you know, just make it look really good because otherwise without it there it's just that little bit that's missing and it just could make the map it could like the uh, when you first fall into the underground in the game without that fire there it would be pretty boring it would still be cool, it would be epic, you've just seen 1940's Aperture Science but without you know a little bit of fire and stuff it, it's just not as cool it, it's just a nice thing to put in so don't uh, leave it out if you think it could be appropriate but yeah um Hope you learned something, as usual. This was uh, James from Squid Gaming. Uh, see you next time. And uh, keep the suggestions up. And also, we are very close to the 500 subscribers uh, mark, which means another competition. So stay tuned for that. I am not entirely sure what it is yet. Or I could be lying, and I do know exactly what it is, but I'm not going to tell you but actually I don't know what it is but there will definitely be something it'll hopefully be awesome for you guys and yeah so have fun and uh, see you next time